Linda McConnell had seen my video on how to get the most out of your Harbor Freight Central Machinery 5-speed bench drill press. And she came back with a question on how to adjust the depth control on the drill press. So Linda, I'm going to show you a couple of different things here that may address what you're trying to do because I don't know exactly what you're trying to do. I'm assuming for, for the time being that you're working with wood although these uh, suggestions work both with wood as well as plastic and uh, probably steel as well. So the first example I'm going to use is this bench top that I made from my WorkMate 425. And I had to drill it out and one of the things I discovered very early on is if I drilled through all the way I ended up with some rough edges on the back side which I didn't want especially on this piece because uh, it was to be used on two sides. And I was using what's called a Forstner bit that you see here. And the realization I came to is if I could drill down to the point where just that point was coming through and then turn it over and drill back through on that same exact spot, I wouldn't have the same problem. So as you see on the other holes here, I didn't have the same problem because I controlled the depth with the depth gauge. Okay. So I'm going to set up the tripod and go over to the drill and then uh, show you some tricks on how to make that happen. So Linda, there's several variables in setting up your drill and using the depth gauge. So I've zoomed in a little bit closer so you can see them. Number one is the distance of this plate right here to the drill itself. The next variable is the size of the workpiece you're going to be working on. And then, of course, your drill bit. Okay, so mathematically, you could work all that out with a, um, say, some kind of measuring device and then use the uh, control to change it. Um, I think that's too time consuming and I'm too lazy to do that. So I'm going to show you the method I did. So let me see if I can zoom in a little bit closer on this for you. See if I can expose more of this for you. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is that I have the drill bit just a fraction of an inch above the wood so that I've got to bring it down just a little bit to touch it. The reason I want that is when I turn on the drill I don't want it to immediately start tearing into the work product because I really don't want it spinning. So that's the first thing I want to make sure that it's about that height. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is move the workpiece back and then I'm going to take the handle and I'm going to bring this down and in this case I'm going to show you how I did the uh, punch through. I'm going to bring it down to about that far and I'm hoping you can see this up here. All I did is take these little nuts here and then I brought them down to right there. Okay? To where they stop. I'll bring both of them down. Okay? So what that does is if you're doing a lot of additional holes, not just one or two, when you use both nuts it keeps them from moving because of vibration. Okay, so what that means is now when I bring it down, it's going to stop right there. So you can see this, you can see these guys right here. They're stopping, stopping it from going any further. So in the case of the piece of wood that I showed you further, this tip is going to punch through. When I get done, all I have to do is flip my piece over, bring it down to the same point and drill it through. Then I don't have that tear out on the other side. So the other thing you might be wanting to do is, you might want to be going to a certain depth. So again, take it down to what you think the approximate depth is, and then take both of these nuts, and I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can, I know this is time consuming. Bring both these guys down, and it takes a while because it's a long ways to go. And that one seems to be jamming a little bit. Okay. Come on, guys. Be cooperative here. Okay, so what that'll do is take it down to a certain depth. That's probably about halfway through your workpiece. Okay? Now, you can use this to figure out how far into the wood it's going. You also, I, I always keep an awful lot of scrap wood around. So, I do an awful lot of test drilling. So, 
When I was doing that other piece of wood, I probably drilled eight or ten practice holes on a piece of lumber the same size before I actually started drilling, just to make sure that I got it the way that I wanted. So the way to control it is to do this. Now, you do have a gauge up here. Now, if you know that this plate is always at one, one, one location, and you know that this piece of wood is here, you can remember where this gauge is or even mark it with a marker and always set it to that depth. But the way that I do it is just to do it just like I showed you each time. So your variables are this plate right here, the depth of your workpiece, and your drill, okay? So those are the three dimensions and this is probably the easiest way to do it, okay? So Linda, I hope this helps you out. Uh, and uh, if you like this video, please press like. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. And as always, good luck on your projects.